all I'm saying is treat you like somebody you actually love. Somebody you really actually love. Okay? You got this. Hi. Thank you for pressing play. I hope I can say something in this video that can just help you overall love on yourself a little bit better. If you enjoyed this video and you would like to see more videos like this, please subscribe and thank you. And I hope you can take something out of this video. So the first thing I wanna talk about that's gonna help you love on you, doing for yourself what you would do for others. I know that sounds really simple. I'm talking to those that might be kinda like me. You maybe spend a lot of time in your life being there for others, caring for others, giving others advice. And maybe you've neglected being there for you. Think about how you love your child or just whoever you're passionate about in your life. Your, your man, your child, your sister, your brother, whoever those people are for you. Um, love you the way you would love a person that you really love. You're literally loving you the way you would love others. Sometimes we give other people advice and you might be a person that's really good at giving advice. You give great advice and you love your friend or family member, whoever so much, you want them to take that advice because you love them. You want them to love them the way you love them. But what about you? Are you doing that for you? Giving yourself advice and also taking it? Cause sometimes it's easier said than done. You know what I mean? Give yourself that same advice because you're giving that advice in love. Love you to give you great advice too. And also love you enough to take your own advice, okay? You're not giving the advice to people you love because you don't believe in it. You believe in it and you believe you're giving them the best advice you can give them. So give yourself that same advice and take it, okay? It's okay to take your own advice if you believe in it. So yeah, so that's just an example of what I mean by loving you the way you would love others. What you would do to help them, do to help yourself. Just make sure you're not giving everybody else this great love and you're lacking giving yourself that great love, okay? Being like self-aware enough of yourself to be like, dang, you know what? Like, maybe I'm not loving myself properly and I need to, and it's okay to. And it's okay to love you as much as you love other people, you know? It's okay, ain't nothing wrong with that. I'm starting to learn that like, the way I love not just my baby, but the way I have always loved everybody in my life, it's all right to love me. And sometimes that means I gotta put me first. You might think giving everybody your last drip in your glass is all right, cause you're strong, but honey, you are still human, okay? So that's gonna catch up to you at some point, it does. It does, trust me, because I've been there. <laughs> it catches up, okay? Hopefully, you know, you can prevent yourself from getting to a dark place like the one that I was in in December by just loving on everybody else the way you are, but also making sure you loving on you, okay? When I went through one of my darkest times of my life last year, last December to be exact, um, why didn't I feel strong enough to be there for myself? And I had been giving, giving, giving and neglecting feeding myself what I need. And um, people that constantly put others first, we sometimes just automatically are like, I'm strong, I'm strong, I got this, like I'm good, I love myself. Yeah, you can be strong all day. But make sure there are times in your life you're putting you first, that you are loving on you. Do some things now, today, that are gonna fulfill your future self even. Whatever that might be. If losing weight, which that's one of my goals, y'all gonna start seeing me look skinnier in these videos, I promise. <laughs> um, if it's losing weight and you know, drinking more water right now or working out is gonna help you get there. Or rather it be just taking me time or days to yourself. I have a video where I'm talking about ways to have more peace and that's one of the things that I mentioned is Take some days where you're just kind of doing you and focusing on you. So yeah, just make sure you are loving on you the way you loving on everybody else, okay? Because you deserve that, okay? And you can do that. And you can do that without feeling guilty about doing it too, honey, okay? If anybody's watching this video and you feel like you've been giving, 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 and giving with everything you got, and you feel defeated like you're not receiving what you give, well, the raw truth is this, we gotta give without expecting nothing, number one, because 
people gonna disappoint you, okay? But on top of that, make sure you're not giving what you ain't got for yourself. Make sure you're not giving what's not there to give. Make sure you give to yourself. The way you feel guilt-free about loving on everybody else, and that's beautiful, Lord knows the world needs more of that, okay? So I would never tell anybody not to do that. Please keep doing that. So honey, all I'm saying is treat you like somebody you actually love. Somebody you really actually love, okay? You got this. <laughs> so yeah, love on you the way you loving on everybody else. That's the first thing I wanted to talk about. All right, so this next one is setting boundaries, okay? <laughs> Setting boundaries is not necessarily saying you just got to kick folks out your life, but knowing what makes you feel loved and cared for, knowing what you need from people and what you don't need and not going to tolerate from others, knowing what those things are and not putting up with it. Okay. Having that line that's like, no, I'm not about to deal with that. I'm not about to allow that. I'm not going to let people do this no more, especially if you are somebody that is there for everybody else and you're always giving to others. Basically, I'm just saying, make sure folks ain't taking advantage of you being a good person. Okay, set some boundaries. And if you have to risk people walking away because you set some boundaries for what you need out of a relationship and what you don't want and not gonna tolerate, it is what it is. It is what it is. Because why do we just have to accept BS from people? Just because we love them, just because maybe they've been there for us in the past. Um, whatever the story is or the reason is that you will allow certain things to slide all the time from certain people. It's just not fair to you, you know? If you know you're out here doing your best to be good to people, you deserve to be treated well. You deserve to be treated with kindness. Ain't nothing wrong with setting boundaries and sticking by them. Now, I'm not saying that you gotta cut folks off just because you're setting boundaries, but setting boundaries could mean you could lose some people. It could mean you may not be dealing with people the same, certain folks. You don't, I mean, everybody's story is different, but um, all I'm saying is you, you shouldn't have to, you should not have to settle for getting treated any old way just because. And that just because could be just because I love this person, just because this person is helping me out, just because this person's been there for me, just because this person is my significant other, just because I took vows. Mm-mm. You self-loving on yourself now, honey. So <laughs> we're going to throw all that out and you're going to set some boundaries and you're going to make people rise to the occasion of what you need. Okay. Especially if you're the type of person that goes above and beyond to make sure you are giving the best you to people. When you start feeling like people are not giving you the best of them, maybe it's time to say, okay, this is not really feeding me in a positive way. I want it to but we can't control other people, you know? I have learned that you can only control what you can do. And, and the only thing that you really control that you can do when you feel you're not being treated properly is let people do them and decide you're not gonna deal with being treated that way. Whatever that looks like for you. Just like they're making the choice to not treat you the way you feel you deserve to be treated, you can make the choice to demand it and to not allow less than what you demand. And you know, let the chips fall where they may. You have to do that sometimes, unfortunately, because you, you don't always wanna do that, you know? You just want people to love you the way you love them. You want people to... I hate when I get emotional on camera, but I just try to keep it real with y'all. Um, we want people to just love us correctly. We want people to just respect us the way they should. Reality is that's not reality. You know, it ain't gonna always go down like that. That's just not always reality. And if you keep allowing people to have passes, keep allowing people to just stump on your boundaries, treat you like crap, um, and just allowing it, it's going to hurt you gonna hurt you inside that's what leads to you waking up one day going dang this is a really dark place that I'm in how did I get here I thought I was stronger than this how did I get here 
and um, it's because you're waiting too long to set those boundaries. I hope somebody that's watching this will just set those boundaries with people that you know you need to set them with. And it doesn't mean you gotta be out here checking folks or cussing nobody out or none of that. I'm not saying do anything like that. I'm not saying get out of character, be you. You can still love people, but you don't have to love them in a close proximity. If there's anybody in your life that you are loving, that loving them is harming you loving yourself, you gotta do something different. You have to. So yeah, set boundaries, okay? That is a part of loving yourself. And that's what we are talking about is self-love, okay, honey? So love on yourself, set those boundaries, the things that affect your self-esteem and your self-worth and make you feel disrespected, that's what I'm talking about. Don't feel no shame about setting some boundaries. Don't feel bad. If you want a relationship that you have with somebody to get better, it's not gonna get better leaving it as is. Has that been working for you? No. Nah. If the answer is no, nah, <laughs> then you gotta do something different. Set you some boundaries, honey. <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <sighs> So this last one that I want to talk to y'all about is just forgive you, forgiving yourself. And I mean, maybe you're hearing this and you're like, forgive me for what? I ain't did nothing to nobody. I mean, cause I kind of be feeling that way. Um, but maybe what you need to forgive you for is the way you've been doing you. Maybe you haven't been loving you properly. Maybe you have been allowing other people to not love you right. And that's what you need to forgive you for. So basically what I mean by forgive yourself is treat your mistakes like opportunities to grow. You can get mad at yourself. You can be upset. You can be disappointed in yourself. We all human. Ain't none of us perfect. So yeah, even if what you got to forgive you for is the way you've been allowing other people to mistreat you or, or talk to you or incorrectly love you, knowing you deserve better. We all can grow from every mistake we make. Every day we can grow from something in life. You can't change what's done. We can't change what's done. All you can do is love you now the proper way. If you can forgive everybody else for stuff, why can't you forgive you? You gotta forgive you. And you just gotta look in the mirror and go, you know what, I'm human. I wish that I did not allow certain things to happen in my life. I wish that I demanded better for me from people than I have, but I can't change that and you can't change that. So what you can do is love you now and love you enough to forgive you, okay? Forgive you. Love you enough to take those mistakes and grow, blossom from them. Be a better you tomorrow. Demand better tomorrow. Actually, don't wait till tomorrow, right now. While you are watching this video, make your mind up. You're gonna demand better for you. That's the message that I have for today love you again love you like you're somebody you do actually care about because you deserve that okay i do have some other videos in the description ways to cope with depression and also a video about ways to spread kindness i just love to make these videos to hopefully spread my own light to other people that's actually what made me start a youtube channel is i was in a dark place i wanted to feed light to people because that gives me light, that makes me happy, it gives me joy. I do hope that, um, I hope something I said today can help one of y'all watching this video. Genuinely, with all my heart, thank you for pressing play. Thank you for your support, I hope you will subscribe. Hit the bell if you would like notifications on when I post my videos. And also leave a comment, let me know what kind of things you do already do to self love on you. Cause I'll take more tips myself and I'm sure other people that are watching this video, they'll probably head to the comments and they can take those tips as well. So thank you so much. Thank you for sharing your time with me today because that's a part of your life and I truly do appreciate it. Bye guys. <laughs>